Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new changes that Microsoft is making available on Windows 11 build 22509. As always, these changes are available in the dev channel and while they're not tied to a specific release of Windows 11, they are expected to arrive in the next feature update schedule for the fall of 2022. Okay, so here is what's new on Windows 11 build 22509. Perhaps one of the biggest changes in this flight is the ability to choose the amount of items you see in the recommended section in the start menu which is this section right here and you can do this through the new option in the settings app which you can do by going to settings then on personalization and then start where you're going to see this new layout that lets you choose between the different options you can choose the more pins and when you do that you will now see only one row of recommended items and you gain another road at the top to show more pins. If you use the default, that will just keep showing the same amount of items as we've seen on the first release of Windows 11, which shows three rows of items. And then the more recommendations option shows four rows of recommended items and you lose one of the roads for pin items. Although we still need that option to disable this feature completely, it is a welcome addition that we now have the option to show less items so we can see more pin apps on the start menu. Also, starting with build 22509, when you have a multiple monitor setup, the clock will now show across all the displays, removing the need to use third-party tools to get the same experience that existed in previous version of Windows. However, that is not an option to enable or disable the clock. Instead, Windows 11 will show the clock automatically when you connect multiple monitors to the computer. In addition, in the uh, touch bar page, you will now find an option, which is this one right here, that allows you to enable and disable the ability to share Windows through the touch bar on apps like Microsoft Teams. This is a feature that the company recently added to Windows 11, and you can check the link in the video description to view this feature in action. On Windows 11, build 22509, the settings app is also getting more control panel options. For instance, on the network and internet section, the advanced network settings is now getting a new advanced sharing settings page. And in here, you can manage many sharing settings, such as network discovery, file and printer sharing, and public folder sharing. So when you need to configure any of these settings, you no longer have to use control panel. Also, as part of the uh, networking settings, Windows 11 will not remember if you turn on Bluetooth or Wi-Fi after turning on airplane mode. So the next time that you use airplane mode, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi won't change. On Bluetooth and devices, the printers and scanners page has been updated so it will now show more information about the printer as you can see right here now we can see different options but basically for now the options available will simply open the control panel experience to change different settings depending on the capabilities of the printer we also get a scanner settings page and apparently there is a duplicate that is the same but it might be a bug with the with this version of Windows. In addition, some entry points for the network and device settings in control panel will now open in the settings app instead. Furthermore, on the apps section, more specifically in the install apps page, the sort by menu has been updated and now it shows two options to sort alphabetically. Now you have an option to sort A to C and from Z to A. In addition, when viewing all the items in a grid view, when clicking the uninstall button will actually show a confirmation prompt. Finally, in this flight, the URI to open the install apps settings directly, uh, for example, when using the run command, has been updated to MS settings app features. There was like another link before but it was conflicting with the system, so Microsoft updated it. So this is the new link. In addition to all these new visual changes, Microsoft is also updating the notification system. For example, apps that send notification for calls, reminders, 
or alarms, the three high priority notifications will now appear stacked simultaneously. This means that you will now end up seeing up to four notifications at one time, three high priority and one normal priority notification. There are other fixes and non-issues with this particular bill, but instead of me telling you about it, I will be leaving a link in the video description so you can learn all about them. And that's pretty much all that's new on Windows 11 build 2309. Remember to like the video, share it, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.